Metaverse, NFT, Virtual Reality. The first edition of Digital Art Fair Asia shows a new generation of artists. As Digital Art Fair, we're particularly interested in educating the new generation art collector and even traditional art collector to enter the, the new digital world. The fair features over 200 digital and NFT artworks, from Turkish artist Rafik Anadol's Metaverse NFT collection to images paying tribute to Hong Kong's architecture. I feel like uh, the digital art space has slowly been evolving. Um, I think social media plays a huge part in society these days, and Instagram got way bigger from when I first arrived. We have Surreal Hong Kong. Surreal is the very talented photographer that likes to elevate his photography by using Photoshop techniques. We have the work of Blair Sugarman and JSR Pixel. They're doing light paintings with drones. So they've actually programmed the drones to, to do the shape around iconic Hong Kong buildings. So in the photography section, we sell NFTs, which are available on this screen. You have to scan the QR code and it takes you to Refinable's website. There you pay in Ethereum and you have to have a wallet. Um, this is a new way of purchasing artwork. NFT, or non-fungible token, runs on blockchain technology. Unlike bitcoins, each NFT can be a unique digital property, and one NFT can represent ownership of a specific work of art. NFT's ability to comfort uniqueness has led to a boom in digital arts collectability. NFT art started making headlines in March when Christie's auctioned a collage of images by artist Beeple to a Singapore-based crypto investor who paid $69.3 million worth of ether. Zabotage, whose work encompasses street art and stencil, started offering NFT in Hong Kong last November. It's not so much the 2D anymore, it's not even 3D, it's even 4D. You can, you can get the whole story of how you uh, approach your work and, and your process and your methods. A report from blockchain development company Consensus says the NFT art market was up more than 800% from $52 million at the end of 2020 to $490 million in April 2021. Christie's announced in September that it had shattered the $100 million ceiling in NFT sales worldwide, with its first NFT auction in Asia hitting a total of $15.6 million in sales. And outside of Asia, Switzerland's Art Basel had its first NFT auction the same month. But NFT's soaring popularity has also raised concerns. Some critics are calling it just another commercially exploitable hype, while others point to suspicions of wash trading. And there's also the ecological impact. Still, that's not phasing artists and collectors. I'm totally excited about the whole talk that's going with this phenomenon at the moment. It's a new field, a new playing field, and um, I'm out there playing and experimenting. I think the world is really ready for promoting digital artists, trying to understand what's NFT, and the gallery is actually getting ready to jump in the NFT world.